there, I'm Mina, and welcome to my garden. This is my happy place, alive with an ever-changing mix of veggies and fruit trees, living soil, and tons of flowers. My passion is helping people everywhere create their own gardens and learn how to grow an abundance of food at home. If you set your space up to win, gardening can become a meaningful rhythm of your life, and I'm here to help you get started. So if you're not quite ready to set up your garden yet, or your homestead, there's still a way for you to get that nutritional and fresh harvest flavor in your life. And it's by shopping local. Because there's this middle ground between getting all your groceries at one time for the whole entire week from one place and growing all your own food at home. I know that that's a big task, it takes a lot of work. So shopping local and engaging at your local farmer's market is the key. So there's definitely a way that can heal the earth by the food that you eat, and that's why I'm a big advocate of getting to know your local farmer. The farmer's market is key to maximize the nutrition that you're getting in the same foods, like same strawberries, same beautiful fruits and veggies. Okay, so I have a challenge for you. Are you ready for this? It's kind of simple. I think you can do it. I want you to ask three questions to local farmers at your farmer's market. So whenever it opens, maybe this weekend or next weekend or when it opens for the season, go there with a little time and just ask three questions. So here's some ideas. You could say to the local bee farmer, okay, I want to drink this in my tea tonight, but what's the point? Like, what are the nutritional benefits? And I guarantee he will tell you a list of beautiful ways that local honey can help your body. Another idea for you is to go to the market gardener and say, hey, I'm trying to start learning how to grow my own food at home and you have kale, how do I grow kale? Uh, where do I get my seeds or transplants? And just ask questions about how to make that happen for you. I guarantee you they'll have some good information. Okay, or one more idea. Ask the cattle ranching couple that works together side by side every day, how do you tend your cows? Like, do you rotate the pastures? How do you manage that when it's rainy or hot or cold? And just kind of get to know their process, how they tend to their beef cattle. Getting to know your farmers at the market will enrich your life. I just know that it will because it has for me. And I've been on the farmer side of the produce table and I've been on the consumer side. And some of the deepest confidence that I have in growing my own food here and now is from getting to know from people that have done it for way, way longer than I have. Even just knowing my first question I can remember asking was, how do you know when to plant carrot seeds? <laughs> I just didn't know anything. And so I started going on Tuesdays to the local market in Nashville and just asking questions. And the coolest thing is that these farmers that are spending their life growing the food for you, they love to be engaged and ask questions because that's the point. Okay, one more idea. I could keep you busy with all my ideas. If you're trying to grow food at home, you have X amount of strawberries you can harvest, X amount of kale, X amount of tomatoes, and it totals your bushel, your harvest basket. But you know what's gonna explode the abundance that you can harvest in your garden is fruit trees. So think about the perennial, low maintenance nature of fruit trees. And once you get them established, it takes a little time, it's okay. But once they're established, you're gonna have more food than you can handle. Like we planted fruit trees starting three years ago on this property and they were small little trees I got from the nursery that were affordable and we're just starting to get mangoes and avocados and lemons and beautiful stuff that we're sharing and saying, okay, this coconut cream mango is creme de la creme. It's just a new level. So growing fruit trees in your space will not add to your harvest, it will multiply it. So plant shopping is my favorite hobby. <laughs> I love it more than shopping for clothes or shoes or anything else. And plant shopping just keeps me engaged with what's available, what's local, because the perfect plant in the perfect place is just right. Getting to know your local nurseries is cool because they're growing what's appropriate for your area. So Leslie and Enrique at one of my favorite nurseries grows a food forest on site and then they also sell all of those trees so you can plant them at home too. So I have gotten so many trees from them and some of them are starting to produce. So let's go see what they have right now. Okay. 
the concept of a food forest. Can you tell me about it? Right, so food forest, you're talking about a lot more diversity. With your conventional orchards, you're gonna have a single crop or tree along a entire row in a singular fashion. And with a food forest, we're looking for diversity. We want multiple species and a multiple, an arrangement more like a forest setting like you have here. Yes. Yeah. What's uh, ripe right now? What's everything that's ripe? We have some citrus here that's going to be ripe very soon. These are oranges, and I believe these are Valencia oranges, which are used for the juice. This is a strawberry fruit. It doesn't really taste like strawberries. It tastes more like cotton candy, if you ask me. Plant people are usually good people, and even if you're not ready to tackle a garden project just yet, there's definitely ways to engage with your local farmers and grow low-maintenance, abundant harvests with fruit trees. Discover a new market or garden center and maybe, just maybe, you'll become just as fascinated with the variety of nature as I am. Creation is pretty glorious, don't you think? And remember, I'm here to help you on your journey. Happy growing.